I can comfortably already say that Hampi is the most random but also the most intriguing place I've ever been. I've never seen anything like it. It's blazing sun, massive boulders with temples on top of them, ancient ruins, and the place we're staying, it's just like a tiny little clump of guest houses. Everyone in the town knows each other. There's like one road in and out. Wow, how are we here? <laughs> I don't know. All right. We made it to Hospi and now we're going to Hempi. Yeah. <laughs> when was the last time you got stung by a bee? Wait, quick update. As soon as we stepped off the train, we got stung by bees. Both, Both of us. In the uh, leg. Yeah, actually burned. Yeah, I'm, my leg is killing me, so we're going to go tuk tuk instead of bus <laughs> and just get to the Agom. Can't believe that. What are the odds? Two bee stings straight off the train. Like three steps out, bang, both stung. Yeah. Are you okay? I think so. We're in Hampi and the first thing you realise when you come to Hampi, apart from the heat, is it's like nowhere you've ever been before. And that you knew nothing about Hampi. <laughs> <laughs> We've got three days here and we're keen to explore and see as much as we can see. We were getting quoted 2,500 rupees for a guide. Which is about 25 Aussie dollars each. So we're going to avoid a guide today. Also, uh, it hit 29 degrees by what, like 8.30 a.m. this morning. So we've had a look at the weather temp and it's 39 degrees every day that we're here, cooling down to like 26 at maybe like 2 a.m. We've opted for a fan room in our guest house. Half the price. So we're paying a thousand rupees per night together. So what's that, 10 bucks each a night, just yep. under. Yeah. But we might have to upgrade to an AC one, we'll see. Judging by the length of the ruins on either side of this road, it's clear that this road has always been important in Hampi. This structure runs the length of it on both sides. And just back there, they were restoring it a bit, but. I think this is once a really big city. I read something about it once being the biggest city in the world. Biggest city in the world? Yeah, but I don't know if that's actually. Wow. I read it on Instagram. There you go. Potentially the biggest city in the world once upon a time. looks so cool like you've got the temple down there and then behind it you've got palm trees and greenery like an oasis how does that grow here on such barren land let's go down and explore it okay guys i think i have figured it out the last street we were on was hampy bazaar and now this one is so bizarre. So that tells me that all these structures that line both sides of both bazaars were shops back in the day where the merchants would sell and trade their things. What do you reckon of that theory? I think it's, even though I hate to admit it, it's a pretty good theory. Cha ching! I am an archaeologist. Yeah. So this is a temple dedicated to Lord Vishnu. That's okay, thank you. So that's Lord Vishnu, mm. and that's Lakshmi. Mm. Yeah, and then Rama. <laughs> Hello? That's the only smell I got. Sorry. Thank you. thank you. So a lot of the temples that we've gone to, the actual like main part of them has been fenced off and locked up. But that cleaner saw us and like he just chucked his broom down <laughs> and was like, Lord Vishnu, Lord Vishnu, and took us into the temples and like unlocked the gates and showed. And then at the end, like, you know, food, food, money, money, so. Did you give him some? Yeah, I gave him, all I had was like 10 rupees, the rest were big, big notes, so I think he was happy with that. Now we're walking up the steps to Narasimha Temple, built on a slope of this massive boulder. Oh, shade. <laughs> and this is what I mean. It's just sort of barred up, but you can still get up and have a look. So I just found these two rocks that were stuck together. It's 
So in this cave, we're going to get our archaeologist on again. <laughs> there is two parallel courts, two footprints, and a lady carved in that we have to find. I think I found the two courts straight up. There's one running here and then one running there. The two parallel strips of quartz veins on the bedrock running from the entrance of the entire length of this cave is probably thought of as the border design of Sitka's garment. All right, and what are the footprints? Okay. All right, so now we've got to find the two footprints. Oh, this is believed to be the place where Sabriva showed Sitka's jewels to Obama. Yeah. This feels cool, definitely Indiana Jones-esque. So two footprints, a platform, there's a platform and then two footprints. So my theory is one, two, two footprints next to the platform, but... I don't agree. Like Jamie Lee doesn't agree at all. We have the lady carved in right here. We either found the footprints or we didn't. <laughs> okay, I am definitely not an archaeologist and no Indiana Jones. I missed the footprints that were pretty obvious. Jamie Lee just stumbled across them, didn't she? I did definitely looks a lot more like footprints. Loads of footprints. It's a good morning of discovery, but now we're going to go home and get out of the heat for a few hours. It's S cooking. See you in a bit. We have just had our rest and now we're picking up day one right where we left off on Hampy Bazaar Road. And it is still hot. We've definitely saved the best for last on day one. This temple has been spying on us from our guest house <laughs> balcony the whole time we've been here. Now we're going to explore Viral Paksha Temple. There she is. <laughs> I thought monkeys needed jungle to thrive. There's no jungle around here and this place has got more monkeys than I've ever seen anywhere in any place in the world. There is more monkeys than people around here, a hundred percent. You're gonna see a lot in this video. Uh oh, pregnant mama. We're feeling very glad that we are here at 20 past five because it's still hot in this temple complex, don't you agree? Hot but calm. Yeah, hot but calm and quiet and peaceful and monkeys everywhere. <laughs> so to enter this site, it's 25 rupees per head and there's somewhere that you can store your shoes for two rupees each. We've left the main temple now and we've got our pluggers back. Now we're heading up to a sunset point. Hemakuta Temple Complex, this is the gateway. Thank you, Indiana Jamie Lee. Is this the coolest place we have been in India? It is right up there for me. It's like a different world. I mean, look at these boulders, look at them. Look at what we're on, just a granite <laughs> slope. And look at all this. And then if you look even further, it's just boulder mountains everywhere in the backdrop. Where did all this greenery come from? Wow, what an amazing day one in Hampi. We're going to put the cameras down now and take in the sunset. See you tomorrow. Good morning team. It is day two of exploring Hampi and we are making our way to meet our tour guide. We're going on a bike tour today for three to four hours all around Hampi. It's gonna cost us 750 rupees each, plus probably a tip, but that includes bike hire and guide. This will be our first guide we've had in a long time, so we're looking forward to actually learning some history. <laughs> of course she got a pink one. I didn't choose, it chose me. <laughs> the bike has minimal brakes, zero padding, and really, no gears. No aircon. Back on the bike again. Arjun, the human. Simha means a lion. Narasimha, his big statue, I will show you after this temple. Narasimha. We were just listening to a great description of a, of a picture carved into the temple. And that asked for his phone, so I got it out, I think he wanted to record it. And then I, he had his phone back, and what's he done? Looked up the AFL results. <laughs> So 
So our guide just confirmed that these strips are bazaars from back in the day. So Hampi Bazaar was where they used to sell jewels. And this one is Krishna Bazaar where they used to sell food. Yeah, and we found out that there's usually one in front of a temple of the like big three gods, which are Shiva, Vishnu, Vishnu, and Krishna. No, Krishna is a reincarnation. Vishnu is a reincarnation. Shiva, Vishnu, is it Brahma? Vishnu? I have no brakes, so watch out. <laughs> When's your last ride of bike? Oh, mine sounds so pretty. The small tools, they're taking some uh, three for big tools, hitting with hammer, they're following to break the stones. Now we're going to see the underground temple, this one I've been looking forward to. Underground temple, not really underground, just below ground level. Yeah. Underground. <laughs> see? Ground level. Ooh, bats. There's bats in here. <laughs> Feels like Indiana Jones. This is the bull for Lord Shiva, his transportation. Oh. Lots of spiders too. Hello. <laughs> Underground temple to our left, cows and banana trees to our right. Just another day in India. How good. What is it? The Queen's Bath, I'm pretty sure. It looks beautiful from the outside. This is a beautiful surprise, the Queen's Bath. Just imagine how this would have been back in the day with all the water in here. Clean water for swimming. Mm. Tell you what, like, you think there's, what, hundreds, thousands of temples, but you don't consider the ruins that aren't temple related. This place has just got days and days and days of exploring worth, doesn't it? Yeah, imagine uncovering it all. Black Comedy Vault comes, there's to go up here, but it's a great view of some temples, some of the hills we've seen, and just how big this area was. Good morning guys, it is day three of exploring Hampi and it's just about 6am and we're walking for a sunrise view at Matanga Hill. The weather is a lot cooler right now, the street vendors are already up and selling chais and waters, tuk tuk drivers are everywhere. Um, but the good thing is, it's less than 30 degrees. Still high 20s though. Ooh. It only took about half an hour, it was pretty moderate, but some parts of it looked real sketchy. Like when they've carved steps into the boulder and it just drops off on one side. But just be careful and you'll be sweet. It's 6.35 and the sun hasn't poked its head out yet. It's sleeping in. But it has been light out here for easily half an hour. It's yeah, amazing. definitely. We probably should have left a little bit early, but we still technically haven't missed the sunrise. I slept in. Perfect hampy sunrise. Now time to go back to bed. <laughs> while the sun, while it isn't too hot to sleep. Yeah, either that or breakfast, because we're both starving. Oh yeah, maybe breakfast. Let's just stay up, I don't know. <laughs> Anyway, we've got to get down off this rock. Hey Matt, would you recommend people wear pluggers? Yes. Would you? Yeah, only if you're Australian though. 
we're heading to the first of three sites that we're going to have to pay entry for. They're 600 rupees each, or if you do them all on the same day, the same ticket gets you in everywhere. So, so we're just eating breakfast and this Tuk Tuk driver came up to us and all the Tuk Tuk drivers here have a map and they show you the path they want to take you on to see these paid sites. And if you decide to take a Tuk Tuk, which is understandable because it is like three to four kilometers to the furthest ones, it costs about a thousand dollars, a thousand rupees for the day. Or 800 is their bottom price. It's usually between 800 and a thousand rupees. So what we're gonna do today is walk to the first one because um, it's in the complete opposite direction to the other two, which are situated close together. And then we're going to negotiate with a tuk-tuk driver just to take us to the other two and back and see how we go budget-wise. Look at the monkeys, look. <laughs> So far this path is very rocky and very scenic and it feels like just about around any corner you go you might just glimpse it for the first time. Check this out, they've made a ticket booth in ruins. <laughs> Thank you. So of the three sites we're going to, this is the only temple. And the whole complex is quite expansive, isn't it? And it's really popular because it has a stone chariot inside, which is on the 50 rupee note. If you look, these pillars here, they are not individual animals. They are... Oh, this one here too. So they're combinations of different animals. What can you see? So, it's got rabbit ears, lion's eyes, crocodile mouth, that one might not have a profile mouth, but the other one did. Um, the talons of a tiger. Yeah, horse. Horse body. Yeah. And this looks like feathers, but I could be wrong. It's very creative. There's a special word for it, but we're not quite sure what it is. I can't remember. Let us know in the comments. So in this part of the temple, we've found this, I guess, dancing hall where the gods all dance together. Now, the reason for it is, can you see here how it's dark and then the pillar, it goes light. And if you come over here, they're all like that, dark, 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 dark. It's because when you bang, get real close. They make a sound and each pillar has a different sound. Now that is pretty damn cool. So it's safe to say the dancing hall was a big favourite of ours? Definitely. Yeah. Definitely. All right, on to the next stop. <laughs> All right, now we're taking a tuk-tuk to Lotus Mahal, just drop only. We negotiated a price because they're very expensive here. Yeah. It cost us 200 rupees from the Hampi Bazaar to the um, museum. Uh, we weren't gonna go in but now that we're here we might as well. It's nice and shady and looks like there's a lot to look at. So that negotiation was a bit intense. Obviously he wanted us to do the thousand rupee package like everyone does and we didn't want to do that because we'd already been to one of the main things and then the price he offered to take us here, wait for us and take us back to Hampi was 800 rupees um, or to just drop us here he wanted 400 rupees which from Hampi Bazaar I literally timed it it was a six minute drive. So there's no way we were paying that. We would have rather just walk. I guess don't take the thousand rupee package. You don't need it. Be firm but fair and yeah, enjoy the ride. Here she is, the famous Lotus Mahal. Now we're at the famous elephant stables. Like I'd live in here. Elephants are beautiful. Yeah, no, but look. It's like a palace. Well, I'm assuming the elephants were kind of treated like royalty back in the day. Like they were in all the processions, they were in the armies, and what? Some of them are holy, you know? Jamie Lee just in her stable. <laughs> So each stable, it's much of a muchness, all the same, slightly different designs. All very cool. 
all the domes of the elephant stables. Well, obviously, there's a little walkway up there to get to that top bit, maybe like a watchtower or something. Very nice building. Let's go see what's over here. I think considering most things in Hampi are free, it doesn't feel too bad that we've paid 600 rupee for these three sites. If we're paying for every other temple that we went in or every other site we saw, then I feel like we've pushed away that we should pay it. Honestly, like this elephant stables is so cool and so different to other things we've seen. The Lotus Mahal is beautiful. The stone chariot, iconic. Yes. Probably worth our 600 rupee. You agree? Yep, I'm happy. 600 rupees, definitely. How good is this Ganesh? Ganesh is the son of Vishnu and Pavati. Am I right? You are a Hindu mythologist in the making. Am I right? I believe so. We've got a fact check. Oh, something tells me our viewers will fact check that for us. <laughs> I don't want to be wrong. We love you guys. Um, and We're our, trying our best. We're trying our best. <laughs> um, no, honestly, um, since we've come to India, our before India, our viewership was 60% Australians. Now it's 75% Indians. So we are feeling the love from you guys. Yeah, just a big thank you, I guess. So now we're playing a dangerous waiting game. We are shaping up to walk all the way back to Hampi and hoping that a tuk-tuk driver comes to us. But if not, it's a 45 minute walk. All the guys in Hampi said that it was too far for us. So we've put a bit of ego into it and we'll do it if a tuk-tuk driver doesn't roll up on us with an enticing offer. <laughs> I reckon this video will finish with us in Chuk Chuk. <laughs> Good start. <laughs> that Tuk Tuk didn't stop. That's cool. I think we're about a quarter of the way and we haven't got a rickshaw yet. 10 minutes to go on the trip and we just had our first rickshaw offer and we declined because we've done the hard yards now and we're going to capitalize. We just got to go around this bend and down the hill and we're at Hampi Bazaar. Okay, we made it to Hampi, no tuk-tuk. We got oh, yeah. the trek done. I'm the saying, trek. <laughs> feels like a trek. <laughs> All right, time to get out of the sun, have some lunch, and then we'll go for one more sunset in Hampi before we make our way to Motsuru. <laughs> So we're just about done here in Hampi, walking up the stone hill for one last amazing sunset. This place should definitely be on everyone's list of places to see before you die. We hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe to the channel. See you next time.